Well, I'm through the gates now. Let's see what goes. No turning back. So, Iceland, here I come. The airport is like a shy vlogger stream. No one's basically here. There's very few people. So if anyone who doesn't know me is watching, then my name is Jonas and I go to Iceland and hopefully play basketball there for nine months. So that's why I'm heading out there. And this is the start of the journey, I suppose. However long it is. Maybe two weeks, maybe nine months, who knows? We'll see. But onwards and upwards. I bet the airport was this empty when it was Soviet times. There was nobody could afford to fly anywhere. And there was nowhere to fly, really. But it kind of pains me that I have to go to England. Like, even look at the toilet. Look at the toilet, how clean it is. And, uh, and, and I have to spend like eight or ten hours in England. And you've seen loose in peak public airports. Yeah, this is nice, no people. Ideal for me. Love it. Ryanair are F tickets. Charged 55 euros for the check in because I didn't manage to do it prior because I got my tickets forwarded, forwarded. So it's the third person receiving the email. So someone's gonna pay. Let's see who it is in the end. So, this is the world we're living in. It's good for you. Magnetic MRO was looking for an airplane painter. Maybe there's no reason to go to Iceland. Maybe I should go and paint airplanes in that anger or the next one. Also, I'm staying pre protected. Actually, there's an old building behind there. That's the first towering up airport. I don't think it's visible from here. It's just behind there. At least amidst all this, I have the executive role. So that's nice. That guy can be cool too, I mean. Again, who wanted that? Who got me here? Bullshit. Baggage must have come with an earlier fight because it's already making a faster laps on the view here. Get me out of here. In general. Out of all the places in the world, I'm in England again, but that's luckily just for eight, nine hours. But I got like, let's say six hours of time that I have to burn and nothing to do. All the priority lounges would be closed at this time of day anyway. 
and there they are one of them is completely closed in Luton where I'm heading for my next flight and the other one is closed from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. so here I am I've got to figure something out Ryanair is a shit air airline in every way but the most important thing it got me here so that's nice and I, I value that the most so yeah the glamorous life of traveling this promises to be fun Luden is like an hour's drive away 90 kilometers away I don't even know if I have enough taxi money for that. Well, this is the pleasant place. I have to wait for 13 minutes to get on an Uber. And I booked an Airbnb at Peter's place. So I'm just gonna chill at a, at a, on, a on a bed for like a few hours at least. And if I, yeah, I have to be in the airport at least, I suppose here, Two hours prior so uh, at least uh, 4 a.m. anyway but still solid six hours I can grab some food and lay down for a second I hope I can get food from somewhere who knows onwards and upwards and something got to my Airbnb and Fuck, McDonald's is like 26 minutes away according to Google Maps. 2.2 kilometers. I, can, I think I can do 2.2 kilometers faster than that. So let's see. I'm telling you with all, res <laughs> with all respect, with all due respect, <laughs> England is the same. It doesn't feel any different than when I was in England back <laughs> a year and a half ago in Plymouth, in a totally different place than I am now. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> Where the fuck I am? <laughs> in like six minutes, it's gonna be 2nd of September, and I'm somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Luton, walking to a McDonald's, which is hopefully open. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Life is really like a box of chocolates. Just a quick little four and a half kilometer walk. Some McDonald's and how many hours do I have? I think three and a half. And even less. Get some shell eye. Top of the four o'clock in the morning too. Let's hope all the times were correct. We had Uber waiting already, and let's hope that. We'll make it on an airplane. But I'll just get on a taxi and shut up. Hey, in here. I don't know even what time it is. Forty-four to sixty-one should be able to make it so well if all is well then I'll get to the airplane at least my luggage will most likely get to Iceland that's nice it's nice to know fun 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 all through the weekend from the goddamn mess. <laughs> Obviously I'm early. About 20 minutes early. Being early always makes sense, right? <laughs> I even got a coffee, so... Things are looking up now if I make it to grade 20, then I think I'm done. I've done
done it. Well, here we are. Eight motherfucking twenty. The glamour of the easy jet may be too much for me. Can't handle it. This is the anti-alien armor fighting vehicle. Iceland seems really isolated, but it's actually not bad. Three and a, even less than three hours is gonna take to fly there. The captain said that we're gonna be 25 minutes early, so it takes the same time to fly from Tallinn to Amsterdam or London than to fly from London to Keflavik. So. Not bad. First sightings of land that may be my home for who knows for how long. Iceland already? Iceland. Or I have to get on the ground actually. But I wanted to say it's pretty mighty that they have the own airlines. Airport is nice and empty. That's that's cool. So let's see when they are trying to stick a cotton swab up my nose. Well, I guess I'm in Iceland now. What next? But it's were nice. No swabs coming up. Be prepared for no swabs. I, I think getting tested in Estonia wasn't that bad. <laughs> she really went at my nose. But here I am now. Walking to get my baggage. And to be honest, I have no freaking clue how do I even get where I'm supposed to go. But that's nice. Let's just read this book then. Is this Iceland now? Where the hell is Iceland? I drew this year yet. Come on. Well, now it's Iceland. Oh. 
Yay! Well, she. Let's see how much coke costs. You don't seriously think that I left without buying something. What a way to start a day. A rainbow unicorn bang. Sugar free. Honest to God, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. At least I got a bang in. And I'm here. Well, first impressions. The weather is not that bad. It's, it's like plus 10, but it's really soft at the moment because there's no wind. I could already see some humongous mountains back there, for us at least. Oh yeah, there's the egg, the giant egg, and some people sculptures. The woods, but we have no like uh, land masses or shapes. Uh, our country is really flat. Yeah, Iceland looks like uh, in Estonia nice neighborhoods look like I'll just give you a little apartment tour so that's the entrance that's the meth lab living room the most amazing thing i've never would have expected this there's an actually an xbox here <laughs> like wow but that's surprising no dishwasher but everything else is here fridge and stuff it's like a kitchen area you know the door is there uh, bathroom so to say it even has a dryer, which is uncommon in Estonia, but that's nice to have. A drying, drying rack. And you know, your shower corner. And bedroom. So this is the, my humble abode for, I'm not sure for exactly how long, but we'll see. Having once lived in an apartment with four, uh, three other guys and sharing a room with one guy, then this is pretty nice, to be honest. So I'll just I just get cracking with making living happen here. Also, the guy upstairs is a Liverpool fan. Very important stuff. My first Icelandic meal. Too bad I ain't got anything to drink. I was sleeping, but meanwhile I had a Santa visit. So let's see what Santa brought. So if anyone's wondering what I'm gonna be eating. I don't know. Block fiskur. Some fish. These look cool though. It says mini fish cakes with cream cheese filling they look fried but they look really promising fried as in it's not good for you but sweet potato fries I got two of these they call it TV dinners in America looks really tasty sauce is very important I don't even know if I should freeze these I think that's another good idea I'm not putting these in the freezer now what else? Let's put these somewhere here. Cottage cheese, cream cheese, some leftover food, tortellini, these TV dinners, cheese, ham, some cola, which I'm more eager to try. Red Bull, real cola, ketchup, milk, tomato sauce. These are worth gold here, fresh tomatoes, cucumber, some condiments, some pasta pots, some more pasta, Pringles, bread, and some Hargo. And that's pretty much it. And I'm just setting everything up in the way I like it to be set up. So this is what's going on at the moment. Been already setting some stuff up here. 
nice this apartment actually has an Xbox that goes with the apartment and a laptop that goes with the apartment so that's cool never seen that stuff already getting settled in a bit this is gonna be my little meal ignore it. this is clean just I got some ketchup now some cottage cheese and tomatoes and cucumber and I'm tidying up stuff in general here just trying to get settled in this is a this is a drink I'm drinking right now it's, it says collab mango and fresh glue it tastes like a liquid gummy candy in the bedroom I already had a little nap just getting unpacked and stuff so I'm gonna eat now what I noticed collab has caffeine in it caffeine 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 well it, <laughs> the, <laughs> the can says caffeine so <laughs> but yeah 105 milligrams per like 0.33 liters is a nice amount of caffeine I'm going out from my first walk I'm, we want to head to that mountain but I don't guess I have enough daylight left I always just want to film too that's the only reason I need the daylight for they have some sports going on there so I'm just gonna start walking I'm gonna do a test run to the mountain I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow so that's what I'm planning but I'll go see what, what's going on with the sports and I'm gonna see see my initial path towards the mountain I've always wanted to make my YouTube videos have a bit more content than just uh, me showing where I'm going so I just wanted to say that one thing I'm gonna try to change this year is a bit a bit of a mentality thing I'm trying to be more urgent in everything as you can see today, I'm walking outside, trying to get a little exercise in. Maybe not a workout, but just some exercise in, just to change up, change up my routines a bit, bring more. Yeah, I would say urgency because I've never been. I wouldn't call myself lazy. I've never been lazy, but just you know, even getting this little walk in today, you know, maybe five years ago, I would have been like, okay, you know, I'll just stay in today. It doesn't matter, but just to add, add a little urgency to everything what I do as far as the sports goes and then we'll see, maybe it translates something into everyday life too get more done or whatever in those lines it's not a very eloquent uh, monologue that I just spewed out but I suppose you get the gist just trying to trying to be more urgent in everything there's not how I would put it I know trying to leave that to the past that there's always a tomorrow no get it done today maybe just not maybe not even today but uh, earlier tomorrow so it's baby steps we're gonna take baby steps yeah I'm somewhere on the field and there's enough daylight I'm gonna be up there I can see a footpath no problem we'll be done like always it's even way steeper than it looked to the naked eye this is like I'm holding the camera on plane with me and this is the way up gotta keep moving more or less on top of it there's like some what do you call these uh, I just forgot the word in English communications uh, related uh, towers so I'm just not gonna go near them I think there's a path from behind the buildings from there but I'll see that tomorrow I think this uh, trek for the day is good enough it's pretty cold I should have addressed way warmer with a little process going there and the mountains all over the place and you can already see where the hot water is coming from but yeah, it's getting pretty cold and I'll just go back to the 
apartments for today. Should have dressed more warm. tiresome but succeeded in getting back. I'm gonna go in, have some coke, eat some cereal, just enjoy the evening. Whew. <laughs> Thunderstruck